today we're going to be talking about dye injection experiments and I wanted to show you what the setup looks like. So currently we have a, a 1 12th scale FRS mounted upside down on an end plate which is simulating the ground and in order to do dye injection you actually have to have ports on the surface of the model and those ports have to be fed by tubes. So you can see here the tubes go through the back of the model throughout the interior so we had to hollow this model out and then near the front because we're looking at the wheel well flow. And so those tubes go along, up, and then they're going to come up to the top and to the dye reservoirs which we'll talk about a little bit later. But the interesting thing for this setup is that I wanted to see the wheels turning and not turning. So obviously a standard model is, has the wheels stationary and this is in a water channel so it's very difficult to mount electric motors inside the model because they'd be underwater. So what do you do? Well, what you do is you actually make a mirror image of the wheels. So you can see that here. We'll look at it also a little bit more detailed maybe from the top. And so essentially what this is, is a mirror image of the wheels and the wheels are touching them and we spin this instead of actually spinning the wheels on the, on the model. And we do that by a gear mounted or pulley mounted DC motor which is out of the water. So this DC motor turns this pulley which turns this pulley which turns this shaft and because the wheels on the model are actually in connection you can actually see that they are rotating and we can simulate moving wheels for our experiments. This is sort of a standard practice for experiments. In a wind tunnel they would have a belt which moves simulating the ground moving underneath the car but for this because it's a little bit more simple we're using just the wheels moving and so all this has been mounted up and we'll show this running and working. As you can see we have three different colors and the reason why we have three different colors is to see different areas of the flow field and how those colors mix and interact. So we have the yellow, the pink, and the blue. The yellow and the pink are a little bit more fancy. They are actually uh, UV uh, fluorescent and the blue is just standard food coloring. So let's uh, set this back down. We'll get it running and show you what it looks like. So here we actually have the motor running. Let me zoom in here a bit. And so you can see the motor is outside of the water. It's turning the belt, which is turning the lathe down aluminum piece there. So that's one of the wheels and the other one is on the other side. So we're only spinning the front wheels. I was gonna make a, a, a duplicate setup for the rear wheels, but I didn't have time. So we're only looking at the front wheels right now. And so this is all spinning. Now we'll take a look at the model and we can see the wheel spinning. Alright, so this is what the experiment basically looks like. The camera is usually mounted in this position and we're looking at the flow field uh, around the front wheels. Again, the back wheels are not spinning but the front ones are. And we have different die injection ports. You can see two dots at the front there, there's some underneath and also in the wheel well itself. And we can visualize how the flow is moving. And a lot of you have seen my hydrogen bubble videos and those are great. But dye injection is a little bit different. You need to run at a lower speed. And the, so the, the benefit here is that we have different colors so we can see how different areas of the flow are mixing and interacting. So let's move over now to the dye injection reservoirs. And basically all we have to do to turn them on is to uh, open them up. Uh, which way? This way. So let's open up. Oh god, they're really tight. Let's open up yellow and pink. And the wheel's spinning a little bit fast, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the voltage. And here we can see what's going on. So there we have it. That's essentially uh, how a dye injection system works. It's pretty simple. The dye is quite cheap. The apparatus is quite cheap. The only really complicated thing was getting the wheels spinning, but it's a really great way of visualizing the flow and uh, looking at those flow structures.